everybody. Good to see you. Dr. Tricky here. Are you ready to learn some magic? Now for this magic trick you'll need some cards, some playing cards. Actually, make sure you have 52 in all. Uh, that'll become important later on. Like if you have jokers in there or something like that, take those out. Now this effect uses two stacks of cards. And what I'm going to try to do is predict which stack you will choose. Now this prediction style magic is pretty popular. I predict you will pick, I got it. Now there's my prediction and here are the two stacks. Let's say for example you choose this stack here and I show you the prediction and it says you will pick the seven stack, right? Now look here. Over here there's just one, two, three, four cards. But over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you've picked the seven stack. Isn't that great? Now, by now you're thinking ahead. So what, you know, what do I do if they pick that one? Well, that is a good question. You still show the sign. You will pick the seven stack. If they pick this one, you turn this deck over and you say, look inside. Do you see any sevens? And they'll say, no, I don't see any. But look here. You've picked the seven stack. The secret explanation to this is that your preset is you put all these cards on the bottom of your deck. So you have seven cards first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you have the four sevens. And they sit on the bottom. And they're there when you take the pack out. So when you're doing this, you say you're going to do a prediction. You're looking at the cards. You're putting down one pack and you're putting down these here, and now you're ready to write down your prediction. So they got the two packs set up like that. You know there's seven cards here, you know all the sevens are here, and uh, the rest is self-explanatory. Good luck and good magic. The name of this trick is called the clock prediction. You're gonna have your spectator take a few cards off the top and set them to the side, but not more than 10. And you can say that, take a few cards, not more than 10 and they will cut off a few cards and set them to the side. We'll get back to that. Now you're going to count down 12 cards. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're going to set these cards to the side because you don't need them and you're going to make a little clock face here. Starting with one, you're going to go one o'clock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve o'clock. Now you're going to write your prediction down. And you're going to say what you think the card will be. And you're going to write it down, fold it, and put it on the side. Like this. Now, you ask them, how many cards did you cut off to? And they say, oh, one, two, three, four o'clock. Wow. One, two, three three, four o'clock, and you turn over the four o'clock, you give them the prediction, and they both match. The three of spades. The secret preparation for this trick is your card, your prediction, is 13 cards down. So it's the 13th card from the top, right? Right there. And that's all. You just have to memorize this card, or, or any card that you want but I chose the three of spades, so I know it's the 13th card down. Now, the person does take a few cards, not more than 10, and you are building a clock, and you do have to count these cards down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You count down 12 cards, and you do build a clock, and you have to start at one, because that's important. One o'clock, two o'clock, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we go to the cards that they cut. We use that as a number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. So you've made your prediction. You set it in the center. You count 6 o'clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You turn over the 6. And there's the 3 of spades. You open up the piece of paper and it says 3 of spades. 
It's a great effect. It'll really surprise everybody. And it's a good follow-up to the trick we just did. The name of this next trick is called the Peaking Queen. Now you give the cards to your spectator and you have them mix them up, thoroughly mix them up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And you look through the deck and you say, name your favorite queen. And let's see, you're just looking through for the queen. And let's say they say uh, the Queen of Hearts. You make three little packs. And I'll say, the Queen of Hearts is going to tell me the name of your card. Now take the card from the center and place it on top of the queen. She listens, she takes a little peek at the card, she brings it up to your ear. Oh, she says it's the eight of spades. And you turn over the card, and sure enough, it's the eight of spades. Now the explanation for the peaking queen is that they do shuffle the cards and they do mix them up. But the sneaky part, the part that you know, is that when you say to them, what is your favorite queen? Clubs, hearts, diamonds, and you're looking for that queen, you're also looking for the top card, whatever that top card is, and you have to memorize that top card. So as you're looking through the deck, what's your favorite queen? You look at the top card, they say the queen of diamonds. You say, good. Now I'm gonna turn the top card over so we can see what happens. This is just for practice sake. Now you make three piles. You cut a little bit here, you cut a little bit there. And then you say, take the top card and put it on top of the queen and she will tell me what that card is. And of course you know it's the eight of hearts because it was on top. That's the top of the pack right there. And that's the secret. It takes a little practice, but it's well worth it and it's a big surprise in the end. The next magic card trick is one of my favorites because it seems like that the participant does everything. You set out your cards like this, you make four piles, one, two, three, four, and you hand these to someone and say, now put three cards on the bottom of this pile, one, two, three, and put three cards on the top of each pile like this, one, two, three. Now you hand the second group to someone else and they put three cards on the bottom and they put one card on the top of each pile. Then you go to the third one and somebody else says it. Three cards on the bottom, one, two, three. One on each top. And then finally you do it here, three cards on the bottom and one on the top. And you snap your fingers and you cast a shadow over the cards. And by magic, all four cards become four aces. The secret to this card trick is pretty simple. You take all four aces to begin with and you place them on the top. And when you do these little packs here, these little stacks, make them small and start from the bottom. So there's a, here's the aces. Let's put them facing up so we can follow them. You make a little pack here. You make a little pack there. You make a small pack there and you and there's your four aces. So when you hand this pack out, start from this side, not that side. And three cards do go on the bottom, and three cards do go on the top. Now you've put one card on top of the four aces. Now you're going to do it again. Three on the bottom, three on the top. One more card goes on the, to the four aces. Three on the bottom, one on the top. You repeat the movement. Three on the bottom, one on each pack. And there you have the secret of the four aces. So, I hope you enjoy those magic tricks. Now, a little insight to those. If you follow the order in which I presented them, uh, you could preset the deck to do all of those tricks. And I'll just give you an example. And you remember how in the beginning I said I put all four sevens on the bottom, followed by seven cards? And I, I did a card, I did the two of hearts at the seventh card, so I recognize where seven cards are. That's one preset. And do you remember how we did the three of clubs at the 13th spot? The three of clubs is already sitting at the spot 13. And do you remember the ace trick? Well, at some point, I have all four aces not even in the box. 
I have them down here. And there's at some point, if you look at the video, you'll see me move the deck away. When I come back, those four aces are on top. So it's these little connectors that make this a kind of performance that you could do from top to bottom and put on a little show. And I hope you'll do that. So good luck with that. Thank you.